I am a spirit of sloth. Yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. You are aware. A mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes live inside your form. But I'm disinclined to begin such a struggle. As you mortals might term it. But not all demons are demons. Worry about the one hunting you. You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean, teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Truly? Oh. Oh, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Have you ever touched your tip? Time to feast. Time to play. Enough. You are a pest, and not worth all this exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then, and uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I taught the mouse to not persist in bothering me. I'm tired. And there is a spirit of rage. I've never felt this way before. It's 
strange. Oh, it's no trouble. I've helped a few other people. I can help you. It's difficult to just hide when another apprentice is in the Fade. Because they're sadistic bastards, that's why. And I'm not talking about demons. Everyone must face the harrowing because there's a small chance a mage might become possessed and become an abomination. Thrown to the mercy of a demon when you're at your weakest. For the safety of all. But how many mages have met their fate in tests like this over the centuries? Don't those lives matter as well? It's either that or they turn you into a freak. A tranquil who can't be possessed, but who also can't feel anything. Ever. The circle is a prison. You have choices between joining and suffering various deaths of body or spirit. Remember that. There are... many creatures in the Fade. Some all fire and rage. Some less so. I... don't remember. It's been a long time since I saw anyone else. I think there were others like you before, but... when? I don't think everyone who takes the harrowing comes here, to this place in the Fade. Or maybe they do, and I've forgotten. You fight it, I think. You kill it. Think of it this way. Everything here is a matter of will, right? I'm not really a mouse, just like you're not really standing there in that body. You fight the creature. You're resisting it. If it wins, it defeats you and possesses you. I guess the reverse is also potentially true. That's a very complicated thing to consider. I'd stick with killing it. We already passed the place where I saw it last. It will probably come back there later, if it doesn't find you first. I'm ready if you are. Bad breath alert. I'm ready if you are. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Have you not told it of all arrangement, Mouse? We don't have an arrangement. Not anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the Mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a Mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. 
I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me, like they tried with you. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. What? What are you... Of course it was. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Are you all right? Say something, please. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? Is that why they don't tell us what it's about? I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint and I'll stop asking, I promise. And now you get to move to the nice mages' quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. The Tranquil never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. They might not, but the rite of tranquility is just as bad, maybe worse. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead, but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless.
I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. He didn't tell me. About the harrowing, I'd guess, but you'd never know with Irving. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is he all right? Is he awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so talented. Someone sounds jealous. I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He'd throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. Hello there. Yes, is there something you need? The only safe one, as far as I know. There are windows on the higher levels, but surely you don't need me to warn you of the dangers of leaping from them. It never ends well. For Eldon, it's not very interesting. Mostly farms, the occasional river. Make a smile fortune on you. We heard you pass the harrowing. Hear what? I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid? That's a death sentence. That's what I hear anyway. Control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But... but... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. You know, in my experience, flint and tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. Ah, oh, congratulations on your harrowing. This is hard. Do any of you remember what the Chantry says about magic? Magic must serve man and not rule over him. 
Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to... to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. Concentrate. Hold the shield. <gasps> if I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Then stand firm and know you can resist whatever I throw at you. Again! Did you hear the rumor about someone being a blood mage? Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? I voluntarily submitted to the Rite of Tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice-cold water. I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. My body is similar in form to yours, possessing an equal number of limbs, appendages and internal organs. I perform the same physical functions. My mind is capable of higher thought processes. Am I to be denied personhood because I do not feel as you do? I have thoughts and memories. I remember my past, my childhood in the tower, and my apprenticeship. These experiences defined me. My lack of emotion simply adds to what is already there. I propose we agree to disagree. Personhood is not measurable. Therefore, we should let this rest. Very well. Goodbye. Good day. Not likely. The Chantry would do something before it came to that. Will they? They haven't done anything, and I've heard that the Equitarians are starting to soften a little on the Libertarian position. Sympathy for the position isn't the same as support. Yet. As far as I know, most Equitarians prefer to remain allied with the Loyalists. You can see why, don't you? Just think of what the Chantry would do if suddenly the Circles were petitioning for more independence or even a split. Won't be pretty. Ah, those short-sighted libertarians. They'll get their way and take us all down with them. I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torren. Hello. Congratulations on your harrowing last night. Good work. Oh, the Fraternities of the Enchanters. You probably haven't heard of them. It's best not to get tangled up.